The task here is to calculate the resistance. In fact, the current distribution is not uniform, so this bending cause the increase in the electric resistance value. The wire made of copper, the electric conductivity of copper specified, and the current flowing is 100 ampere. In quick field, you can construct the geometry model not only by extrusion, but also by importing from the other cards. Now, this is the free card. One of the card tools to create the three dimensional geometry. And here you can see I created the three dimensional object, the bent wire. I will export the geometry to the step format. No, not here. Now let's start quick field. I will create the new problem. The wire 19 degrees. The problem type is DC conduction. I will study the DC electric current distribution in the wire. And the model class is 3D import. Now you see the different window. There is no way you can draw the three dimensional model in quick field. You can only import the model. So this is the model class, three-dimensional import. I will press the import button and will locate the step file I created. Here it is. Now I got the three-dimensional model in quick field. The next step is usually you should assign some label to the to new object. I select the object and type in the name copper. From here the electric current flows. So here I specify from this phase, I assign label current, and this phase has zero electric potential. Now I have two, I have single body, I have the current phase and the electric potential phase. Now I should specify physical properties and boundary conditions for, for each of these labels. For the copper, I double click the label and I specify which value 50, 56 times 10 to the power of 6. Uh, 
for the current. You see, there is no current boundary condition, but there is current density boundary condition. Here I should specify current density, which is current divided by the cross-section value. Now, this is the cross-section value. And here I will type in the equation current 100 amperes divided by the cross-section area. Again, Quickfield supports equation in this field. And the ground surface has zero electric potential. Now let's build the finite element mesh. Here it is. And let's run the simulation. I will agree to save all the product files. And here is the result. You can see the electric potential distribution and I can adjust the field picture and switch to the current density distribution. You see indeed there is high, the current density distribution is not uniform. There is high current density here and lower current density value here. But my task was to calculate the resistance. You know, the resistance is the ratio of potential difference to the current value. The potential difference, well, one side is ground connected, has zero potential, so I need to find the electric potential of this side. Again, I will switch to electric potential field distribution. And use the local values tools. And this is the electric potential and I should divide this value by the current. Zero point zero zero one six eight divided by one hundred. One point sixty eight times ten to the power of minus five or sixteen point eight micro ohms. Of course there are there are much more you can do here. You can calculate the integral values you can adjust the field picture, you can take a look at the current distribution. You can use the cut by plane tool to build the two-dimensional section.